It's alright, take your time, smoke. And it's damp heat. I mean, uh, damp cold. Need some damp heat. What? <laughs> damp cold. Goes right through your bones. Not that bad. Mm -hmm. I have frostbite on my fingers and oh. my, oh. my toes. Yeah, so I did. That's almost why. did. Sleeping in my stores last winter. I couldn't handle it. Mm -hmm. My toes, my toes started to get frostbite. Mm. <sighs> you know that stuff. Oh. Are we in soap flake or Taylor? What? Are we in soap flake or Taylor? Taylor, I think. Oh. I'm my bed bad. Look too speaker. I shut the train close. A you know, bunch more stuff. My story. I talked to Jim. And he should have paid up the till. Forget 1912. How did you sell your fish when you were raising it? I just put an ad to the, the recycle. I saw the pet store. Uh -huh. Yeah, a couple hundred at a time. The angel fish. And people come from all over the country to see my setup. They couldn't believe it. Local aquarium society finally came. He said, Lee, no wonder why, why you buy so much stuff every year at the auctions. Wow. <laughs> wow. Blew their minds. They'd never seen anything like that. Nobody did. Neighbors, neighbors would come by. Would you mind if I come in with my sun and look around. I was like, yeah, of course, come on in. <laughs> Blow their minds. I had killifish, garamis. I was, my specialty was lapis, l tangs I call them. Very rare killifish that spawned in mops. They made a PVC and a big book. I take yarn and go back and forth, make a figure eight. Then, I take I take the book out and cut the bottom of the yard and put the end cap on the PVC and said so that it was float uh -huh. and the males the female would dive into the mop lay, lay eggs and then the males would come behind and fertilize them. <laughs> yeah. that, those things were like five bucks a piece. And then one day I was doing a water change. I didn't know it, but that day, San Diego put a bunch of some sort of caustic substance in the water uh -huh. to kill all my all those fish. I was so upset. Sent everything into shock. Huh? Yep. Kill them. In five minutes. Took, took all the oxygen out of the water. I didn't know that it was in the water. They're flushing out the water system that day. They're really strong chlorine solution in the water. Didn't tell anybody. People like me, I don't know, water filters. Yeah. I really have something. Those are the only things that died. I kept the water level about halfway, about 20 down tanks so they could jump out. 
here. I was doing it a while. I changed about two gallons of water, came back, and they were dead. <laughs> I was like, it took me a while to figure out what happened. I had to contact a friend of mine who was a professor at uh, some college there in San Diego and he told me what happened about the water. That's, that's where I got the babies from, the eggs from him at, a, at an auction. He kept me going. I sent those the eggs all over the country. Luckily, I did that. The angelfish. I was shipping the sidewalk containers and triple bagged them. So there were no, no leaks. Every time I ever say anything by air, the airlines, they always survive. Always live. I did it right. Number one, home amateur breeder in the country. Number, I mean number ten, number ten. Tenth, tenth biggest. I, I got to a certain point, about two years, I never introduced any more fish. I didn't want to take a chance of disease or anything. Even from the auctions, only, only eggs. I spawn rainbow fish. They're really hard to spawn. The baby, Siamese funny fish. They have bubbles, a bubble dust. And the male embraces a female, and the eggs pop out. The male scoops up, up the eggs blows them in a bubble of saliva into the, the nest. Uh, I had five gallon buckets outside with leaves and hay and stuff, lawn clippings, mosquito larvae, and daphnia, brine shrimp, live food. That's why I enjoy that more than plants. Yeah. That's one of the reasons why I want to go back to San Diego because you can't do that around here. Yeah. It's too cold. What it's would you do around here? You can't do that. You can't you already have a garden there where I'm at. It's all sand. Yeah. I walked around and looked. It's a greenhouse in my storage. My heat pit has seeds. I was a master gardener. I am a, a master of prayers. I always tell people I'm a jack of many trades and master at a few. I used to go by this about the same time of jack of all trades, master of none. Well, I'm a, a master of a few. Master, master of ping pong, master of tennis, master of ball rockets, master of fish, master of garden. About five or six things. You like bottle rockets? Bottle. Bottle rockets. Oh. Rocketry. Boom. Yeah. Parachutes. Dreamer. Now they're really advanced. You gotta have a license to go in the orbit, outer space. Uh, back in my day, the biggest engine was an E engine. Not like our SS is way down there. 20 feet tall, 30 feet tall. Like a missile. <laughs> Anyhow. 